In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the CSS font property, all the different things you can define within that property, how to use it, when to use it, and why to use it, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. And with that out of the way, let's learn how to define the CSS fonts and all the different things that go with it in the screen capture. I'll see you there. What we have on the left-hand side here to illustrate what we're gonna do here is just a simple HTML setup. We have the HTML document specified. In the body, we have an H1 tag and a P tag which, with some warm Ipsum text. And in the header, we have a, the style section with just a paragraph style and a description of the font declaration and what we can put into it. And on the right hand side, we have what this page currently displays as, which is just a default font. So inside the P tag here, we are going to put in font colon semicolon. And this is how we start, this is the font declaration. And then inside of it, we can put these properties. But we don't write them out as font style, font variant, font weight. We actually write in there what we want that property to be. So for font style, our choices are normal, italic, and oblique. Oblique is pretty much the same as italic. It's slanted, but it doesn't have as much browser support. So if you want italic, we usually stick with having just italic in there. The font variant, we can have normal and small caps. So I'll show you small caps in a little bit, but normal just keeps the text as you see it on the right hand side, just with uppercase uh, letters for the start of sentence and all the rest lowercase. Font weight, we can specify bold or not bold. So we're gonna make it bold. The font size slash line height. So for this uh, part of the, the properties, we have to actually have that slash in there. So first we declare the font size, forward slash, then the line height. So we're gonna have 18 pixels for the, for the font size and 24 pixels for the line height. And for the font family, we're gonna choose Verdana Sans Serif, or Sans Serif, however you wanna pronounce it. And after this, we can save our file. And this is our whole font declaration with everything filled in. And we're gonna just save it and refresh this page and see how it looks. So we see that our text is now italicized. It's bold. It's still uppercase to start the sentence and all the rest lowercase. And the font face is, or the font family is Verdana. And you have to take my word for it, but the font size is 18 pixels and the line height is 24. So if we go and we change the font size to 22, keep the line height at 24, we'll see that we increase the font size and close the gaps between the sentences. Looks a lot more cluttered that way. But this is just to show you or to illustrate what changing this actually looks like. Now, if we put the font weight back to normal, and then if we change this normal for the font variant to small caps, we will have small caps. So the, the first letter of the sentence is a big capital, and then all the rest are capitalized font face, but they're smaller. So that's called small caps. And that's really about all there is to, to do for the, the font um, font declaration. You can put the italic to normal, and it's just normal text. And if you wanna do font color, you can't actually change the color within this font declaration. You have to have or use the color declaration. So we can change the color to orange. Now our color is orange. And you can use uh, either words. There's 140 different words that can describe colors in CSS. Or you can use hex codes like this, should be red. Or you can use RGB. And I have uh, separate videos for all of these so you can learn what all these are. This one should be blue. So you can describe the color in various ways, but you can't put that within the font declaration you see here. It has to be its own color declaration and that you can use to specify the color. 
So I hope this video helps you. We learned about the font declaration, how you can use it to manipulate fonts via CSS and change their appearance. As you can see, you can do a lot with the CSS font property. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials. And until next time, check out these videos over here because there's some more awesome knowledge to be gained. And I will see you in the next video.